The stalled wing dropped from the reduced lift, which flipped the fighter upside down. As it slid across the top of the bomber, it sheared off most of the fins. The nose of the fighter was sliced off and hit the wing. It burst into flames over the wing and went down in a huge fire trail. Without its vertical fins and damaged wing, it was mortally wounded. The huge craft flew on straight for 15 to 20 seconds, but then fell into a snap roll and lost part of its left wing. It tumbled and rolled into a flat spin while spewing fuel. Al White ejected from the bomber. It remains a mystery why the co-pilot did not use his ejection capsule. It is likely the fierce G-forces from the spinning prevented Carl Cross from retracting into his capsule. Carl Cross went down with the huge craft which crashed in the Californian desert north of Barstow.